Hello beauty babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I get these perfect brows using this men's beard dye. I'm also going to be showing you how I wax and trim my brows in this video as well. So if you want to see how I get this look, then just continue watching. Hello beauty babes, welcome welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering why I'm all close in the camera, it's because I'm going to be showing you how I wax and tint my eyebrows at home using this like men's beard dye. I've used this once before. It didn't really do anything for me, but I've been seeing it on TikTok. So I was like, okay, maybe I just did it wrong or something. I don't know. So let's give it another try. And this is in the color Real Black. So I really hope this works because... I don't really, I wouldn't say I have sparse eyebrows, but they're not the thickest. So, you know, this would help not me. This would help me not have to fill in my brows every morning. So it just works perfectly fine. But, but first things first, I'm gonna need to take the makeup off of my eyebrow because I have makeup on my eyebrows. So I gotta take that off. So I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and clean off my eyebrows. I really hope I'm in like frame. Yeah, I am. All that matters is if my eyebrows are in frame, right? I'm not gonna be able to like show you the wax kit right now because it's plugged in and I can't really pull it because it's plugged into the wall. So I'm not trying to get electrocuted, but I'll show you at the end of this video or if I don't remember, I know for sure I'll have it linked in the description box below. It's from Real Lyco, I don't know how to say it, but I'm just using their wax warmer kit with their pink rose hard wax beads. Okay, so after you have your eyebrows all nice and clean, mine are all nice and clean. These are my eyebrows. They've been needing to get waxed for a while, but I just haven't done it. So here I am with horrible no shaped brows looking like a crazy person so i'm obviously gonna wax first before i do anything but i'm just gonna take these mini wood sticks so that i can just you know have little tiny sticks so i'm not taking off too much hairs because i've had that happen to me before which is why i wax my brows instead of going to a salon because that's why i don't have any brows now so i'm just gonna brush my eyebrow hairs upward And then I'm gonna take my little tiny stick and I'm gonna dip it in my wax. Make sure the wax isn't too hot, obviously. Do not wanna burn yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna take literally a little bit because I really wanna work in the smallest sections possible in my frame before I start. I'm in no means a professional, like, at all. So, I mean, I'm not really telling you to do this, because if you butcher your brows, that's on you. That did not get off much. That did not do much of anything at all. Okay, so. More wax. I feel like this is too much wax, actually. But we'll try it. I hope that wasn't just blocking everything. But all I did was like, put it on my brows. I don't know why I can't talk today. It's like, my mind is all over the place. It's crazy. I'm just going to rip it off. Mm. This is their new rose wax. And I feel like this one does not work as good as the other one. Like the other one would have got off more hairs. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm using these sticks. These like mini sticks. And these technically aren't the right sticks to wax your eyebrows with. But beauty supplies are closed. So, you know, had to get these from Walmart. Once again, you're just gonna spread it 
on your eyebrows or on the like unwanted hair of your eyebrows. Let it dry for a little bit. Out of all the places that I've waxed, my eyebrows are the less painful ways, honestly. These hairs will not come off in my eyebrow right here. I don't know what their deal is, but I'm probably just going to have to tweeze those, honestly. Because I'm not trying to be here all day. One thing I've noticed about the really go, however you say it, wax is it's very stringy. I mean, it doesn't really bother me. I don't care. But if it bothers you, there you go. As you can see, like it's pretty sticky. I don't know if that's how hard wax is, though. This is my first wax kit that I've tried. See, they still didn't come off like... It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to save the tweezing for the end after I've waxed everything though. So now what I'm going to do is brush down this eyebrow and I'm take another mini wood stick, dip it in my hot wax. Once again, make sure it's not too hot for your skin. Cause I feel like this is, but we'll see. Ooh, crap, yeah, she's hot. Oh, oh, that was definitely hot. Oh my God. Oh, I don't like that did much. I think I waxed off too much. Well, actually let's try brushing it out. It comes with 
I think these are gloves. I actually lost the directions, so hopefully I didn't need them. Anyway, and then it comes with the color developer and the base, and the base look like it's low-key spilled out a little bit. I actually need to get a angled brush, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I just have this e.l.f. angled brush, but before I put the hair dye or beard dye on my brows, I actually forgot about this one step. You want to carve out your brows um, with some type of like thick cream. People say either Vaseline or uh, like face paint or something like that, like white face paint. But I don't have either of that, so I'm just going to use this Ruby Kisses Cream Contouring Kit that I got from the beauty supply store a long time ago. And I'm going to use a very light color. I'm just going to use this like super white color. On my brows to carve it out to make sure it helps the dye not get anywhere you don't want it to be on your skin that's another reason why you want to make sure you do this step you just want to take the time to do it right okay so I'm back and as you can see I look crazy and these probably aren't the most even but this is as even as they're gonna get like they said brows are sisters not twins so it doesn't matter it's fine right it's fine so what i'm gonna do is take the color de color developer and the um color base and you're gonna squeeze it onto this tray they give you this tray to mix it together which i really like because this product honestly lasts you a while like you don't have to worry about it but I try to mix equal parts of both and I'll show you how much I actually use. Okay, so this is about how much I've used of like both. And I'm just gonna take another one of the sticks that I used to wax my eyebrows, but a clean one, and I'm just gonna mix it together. What's crazy is that if you can look on the wood, it's changed the color of the wood. So that's like the color it's supposed to be. So what I'm gonna do is dip the angle brush in there kind of lightly I'm gonna get my mirror because you want to be up close for this part you're just gonna start putting it on the brows once again you want to take your time with this you really don't want to rush this process at all because even though you put the um, concealer around, you can still very much like get it on a place you don't want to by rubbing off the concealer. So you still want to be like extremely careful when doing this. I'm going to fill in like all of my brow first and then I'm going to um, go in. I'm not going to dip more with my... Uh, brush into the color mixture because I don't want the front part of my brow to be so thick so what I'm gonna do is just take the remainder on after doing that and I'm just going to very lightly like press it attention look at that that's crazy wow that's crazy wow okay so what I've seen this one girl do on um tiktok was she took her spoolie, like after the thing got dyed, and she kind of took, did she take her spoolie? I don't know if she took her spoolie or like a cotton swab to like kind of warm up some of the prow on, what? To kind of rub off some of the product at the beginning of her brow. So 
So I'm actually gonna take this makeup wipe and kind of like roll it up like this. I'm just gonna dab a little bit just to really make sure like the beginning of my brow isn't too bad. And then what I'm gonna do is let this sit for 10 minutes and I'll be back when I'm ready to wipe it off. Okay, so we're back after, I wanna say about eight minutes. I didn't wait the full 10. Just to wipe it off, I'm just gonna take the same makeup wipe that I've been using to wipe it off. And I got some on my finger. And as you see, it's pretty tinted. So hopefully that's how my brows look, but hopefully not too much because I don't want to be looking like a crackhead. So we're just going to, I'm going to wash my face after I wipe it off, but just to initially wipe it off, I'm going to take a makeup wipe and we're going to just wipe. Oh God, I hope this works. Like I hope I don't look like a crazy person. See what I mean by this bra always turns out better? Like why does this bra look so good? And look at this, look at this, look at this. Like. I'm gonna go wash it with soap because they recommend you wash it with soap. So I'm gonna go wash it with soap and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm looking in the mirror I have over here and from a distance, it looks fantastic. From up close, like, you can obviously tell like just on my skin, it's a little tinted more than I would like it to be, but it still doesn't look bad. Like, it definitely tinted them. It definitely turned out way better than it did last time. So it definitely tinted them and made them to where I wouldn't have to feel in my brows. I'm probably going to still have to go over with, over it with concealer. Cause I just, I don't know. I just don't like how sloppy it looks. And honestly, I feel like if you use something better than concealer to mark around it, like. So what I'm going to do actually is take, um, some concealer and just clean up around my brows where I kind of messed up a little bit just so we can get the finished look all right beauty babe so this is the finished product on how my brows are looking yeah I had to clean up with concealer but the purpose of this so I wouldn't have to fill in my brows you feel me and I really didn't have to do that and I love waking up pretty much with perfect brows like this helps so much i definitely feel like this tiktok hack is not a flop at all like this actually works and i do recommend you going out and doing it if you want to if you want to but anywho thank you for watching today's video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and to hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when i upload another video i'll see you next time